Hey there, everybody. Glenn Wasmer. Food is a habit. Uh, probably one of the, the best things I ever learned with uh, Dr. V and after the weight loss surgery is dealing with the, the different ways that we view um, food, our habits. And, you know, there, there's so many things that that play into it. But one of the, the neat things is we've all heard so many of us have said or can relate to emotional or stress eating. And I, when I hooked up with Dr. V almost four years ago, uh, he said something to me that was very profound. Well, he, actually his audience, but it was that an emotion or stress is nothing more than a thought traveling through your body. And what we do, as I did as an obese person, is use it as an excuse to abuse food. And so there's four, four common types of uh, uh, food, let's say, habits that we have. And I'm just going to look at some notes here. Um, the emotional eating. Um, we were brought up that way. You scrape your knee, you get a lollipop. We self-soothe ourselves with foods. Um, we're stressed out and we go to the snack machine. Um, and it's really not necessary to have that food. Once you learn to recognize the triggers, you can deal with it. Um, and it can be sugary sweets and, you know, those kind of things that we think are soothing our needs, but they're actually adding to the damage that uh, we can do to our bodies. Um, there's also things that we do ritually. Um, it's 12 o'clock, it's time for lunch, when really we should only be nourishing our bodies with food when, our, when we're really genuinely hungry. And that's beyond the cravings point. I mean, what you know when your body needs food. And sometimes we just, we're in the habit of breakfast. Probably one of the worst things you can do for yourself is break the elimination cycle from 4 a.m. to 12 when your body's trying to clean itself out and throw some food in there. Um, give you an example. Uh, how many times have you heard people say, oh, Taco Bell goes right through me? Well, no, Taco Bell doesn't go right through you. It takes hours for food to digest and move through your body properly. But what happens is foods like Taco Bell are so toxic that your body has to say, hold on, before we can even deal with this junk, we got to empty out the system. And that's why you're making a run for the border. So they're ritualistic things like eating at lunch and... Um, uh, eating pizza when, you know, the, the kids are gathered around and, and just reaching for a slice when you're stressed out and driving around. Um, there's also social eating or activities, you know, that we do. Um, we all have the holidays, um, whether it's Christmas, 4th of July, it's a barbecue or the big Thanksgiving meals. Um, we use those as an excuse to overeat. Guilty, been there, done that, still kind of do it. I kind of keep my my weight in check and uh, enjoy myself on the holidays. And then there's the cultural things we were raised, uh, you know, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings. They're all festivities that are, by and large, you know, uh, food is a big part of that. So one of the things that's necessary when it comes to ritual, emotional, social, and cultural eating is just listening to your body, having a plan going in, knowing what you're going to allow yourself to do, being aware of what you're walking into. Maybe you're going out to a, a fast food restaurant. One of the things I used to do, if I knew the church guys wanted to go to Olive Garden, I would go on the Olive Garden website and look at the menu and just know what I was going to have and stick to it. Hello, Paul. Um, but that's all. I just wanted to you know break some of the underlining or break up some of the, the various categories of food being a habit and just share that with you. And the one breakthrough I had, especially with the emotional and stress eating, it's nothing more than a thought moving through your body. I hope this was helpful, interesting. God bless. I hope you have a wonderful evening.